Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Crack. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. 
The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place. Well, what about the other way? With the... Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? So you do want a mop, okay. Ah, nor... I got a good feel. This is a protected fe... And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy! I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. OK, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around, and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Let's go find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting the roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Yeah, what's crack? You better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. Hey, babe. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on Fame or Shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. Hello? What the hell happened? 
We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! I've gotta give you the number on that headshot! Hey, what are you ru- Oh my god! You killed him! You killed him! You just killed him! I can't believe it! I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. More persuasive. He never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. He really scared me, but I, I didn't know what... Well, then pretend it never happened. Like, I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay. Hey. That's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good. That's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. Thanks, Daddy. Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. It's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will. You fool! Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. 
The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Get to the airport, talk to her. That's it. down, Slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today, Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over.
Yeah, you're telling me she's gone crazy. Chicken? Like it is, pal. She's totally flipped.
out of my class around here, yeah. Save some tequila for me. <laughs> Come on, on, let's go. You animal. Oh. Okay? Hey, you got some mess to clean up. Leave me alone. She's the one behind this. Everybody ready? Ready? Reloading. I got what I came for. I'm leaving. Does anyone have a visual on them? Eagle 10 here. We have a visual on the ground.
Fuck off! Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? 